an historic moment. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have embarked on their first public event in Canada. This visit, marking a significant milestone in their post-royal journey, led them to the snowy landscapes of Vancouver. Here, they showcased an adaptive ski trail, a thrilling feature for the upcoming Invictus Games. Devoted to supporting veterans and adaptive sports, the couple's enthusiasm was palpable, a testament to their enduring commitment to charitable endeavors. The radiant Duchess, glowing amidst the wintry setting, served as a poignant reminder of the public's ongoing interest in their lives. Yet, even under the watchful eye of global spectators, the Sussexes have managed to intertwine their public persona with their philanthropic pursuits. As they navigate their post-royal journey, the Sussexes continue to use their platform to shine a light on meaningful causes. Yet amidst their endeavors, the Sussexes find themselves under the critical lens of the British press. A prime example of this scrutiny can be found in a recent article by The Telegraph. The story, while on the surface, a simple coverage of their Canadian visit, subtly reflects the tension between Prince Harry, Meghan Markle, and the royal establishment. This narrative hints at a critical juncture for their relationship with the broader royal family and their ability to navigate the delicate balance between public engagement and private life. The media, with its omnipresent gaze, plays a significant role in shaping the narrative surrounding public figures. Every action, every word, every look is dissected, analyzed, and often sensationalized. This magnified focus on the Sussexes is not merely a reflection of public interest, but a testament to the immense expectations and pressures placed on them by the institution they were once part of and the media that ceaselessly covers their every move. The coverage by The Telegraph, much like other media outlets, presents a dichotomy. On one hand, there's a relentless interest in their personal lives, fueled by the public's fascination with royalty. On the other, there's a critical examination of their actions as they step out of the royal shadows to carve their own path. This dichotomy underscores the challenges faced by the Sussexes as they strive to promote meaningful causes while maintaining a semblance of privacy. This incessant scrutiny also raises questions about the role of the media in shaping public perception. Are their philanthropic efforts overshadowed by the media's focus on their personal lives? Does this scrutiny influence the public's perception of their work? And more importantly, how does this media coverage impact the Sussexes themselves? This scrutiny underscores the delicate balance the Sussexes must strike between their public engagement and their private life. It's a tightrope walk, a balancing act that not only has implications for Harry and Meghan, but also prompts a broader reflection on the role of the royal family in the modern era and the intersection of public interest and private life. The Sussexes are at a crossroads, facing a multifaceted challenge as they strive for financial independence while maintaining discretion. As we delve deeper into this royal narrative, we see a clear strategic positioning of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. They are leveraging their platform for advocacy, using their visibility to spotlight meaningful causes. Their recent visit to Vancouver is a prime example, as they showcased an adaptive ski trail for the upcoming Invictus Games, a testament to their commitment to supporting veterans and adaptive sports. Yet, their public endeavors are a delicate dance. Each statement, each appearance carries implications for their familial relations. The Sussexes are not just any celebrity couple. They are a part of a centuries old institution, one that carries its own set of expectations and pressures. Every move they make is scrutinized, every word dissected, both by the media and the royal establishment. This scrutiny, 
while Daunting also offers a unique opportunity. It provides a platform from which they can influence the narrative, shape public perception. Harry and Meghan are not passive actors in this story. They are actively steering their narrative, managing the fine balance between their public personas and private lives. But this balancing act is not just about the Sussexes. It reflects a broader shift in the understanding of royal independence in the modern era. The traditional notion of royalty is being challenged, redefined even, as members of the royal family seek personal autonomy while fulfilling their royal duties. The Sussex's journey towards financial independence underscores the shift. They are building their brand, generating publicity for their causes, all the while navigating the complexities of their relationship with the royal family and the media. It's a tightrope walk, one that requires careful maneuvering and strategic planning. The actions of Harry and Meghan are reshaping the conversation around royal duties, personal autonomy, and the intersection of public interest and private life. As we watch their journey unfold, we bear witness to a new era of royal independence, one that promises to redefine the role of modern royalty.